All right, good morning, everybody. I'm going to give you my open in just one second. All right, good morning. Are we all, can you guys all hear and see me okay? There's something weird happened right there before we came back on. So we're doing a mobility routine today. Um, we're doing a lot of big motions. I know I'm not on the screen. I'm just trying to make sure everything's working. Okay. You guys, all right, good, all right, good. So I got Louie over here. He looks like he's ready. If you ever need a modification, this is what you're gonna do, okay? Everybody can hear and see me all right? I hope so. All right. Um, so we're gonna be starting standing. A lot of big movements today. Uh, who's Louie? Are you using a Louie, Matt, Kendra? Are you using a Louie, Matt? Can you guys see me? I don't know why I'm not seeing your comments. Let me double check. I can't see anything. Hold on. Let me get you back here. Pop up chat. Okay, good. All right, thank you. All of a sudden, your comment, I don't know what was going on there. That was weird. All right, wonderful. I got you all back. Yes, 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 yes. Crawling back through my. <laughs> well, stand back up, Rana. Okay, so I say let's do this. Get ourselves a little bit warm. Not that you're not warm from the last class. And if you're like, why is this woman always sweaty in her mobility <laughs> at the beginning? I'm always, uh, coming from either a kickboxing or a hit on Tuesdays, okay? So I want you to start by shifting your shifting your hips side to side. <laughs> you don't have to do this dance if you don't want. But hips shifting side to side. So actually think about, like, with mindfulness, pushing your hip to one side and then the other side. You could do like this all day, but that's not moving your hips. Side to side, okay? Good. Hi, Marianne. All right, keep going. Good. Stay with it. In four. <laughs> of course you are, Vanessa. Three. Two. Okay. Now, take this right here. Okay. Now, hips shake a little bit side to side. Legs are out wide. Toes are turned out. Okay. So I want you to start kind of like side to side. But you're not going a lunge. You're kind of adding your hip into it. Okay. Adding your hip into it there. Good. Good. Did you find that out, Paula? <laughs> good. Um, Shelly, I would say a good 10-minute warm-up is good for that. Anytime you're doing anything active for a long amount of time, good. Side to side. Okay, so now start to add shoulder rolls back into this. <laughs> the mom sway? Is that what this dance is called? <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> Stay with it. And it doesn't have to be with a beat. Good. Good. And four. And three. Two. Now take it to the center. Press into the inner thighs and press them open. Now come up. Reach your arms up. Bring them back down. Come down. Press your inner thighs open. Good. Come up. And up. Back down. Inner thighs. Press open. Now right there. Hold it. Hold it. Start your shift from here. Start your shift from there. Okay. Now, what I want is an arm swing. An arm swing. Arm. Now, at the top, come up. Lift your toes. Lift. Lift. Eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Arms up. Fold forward, fold forward. Oh, good. Hang down. Inhale, lengthen your back, look forward. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen your back and look forward. Now stay there. Exhale, drop your hips. Straighten them back up, fold down. Inhale, look forward, lengthen your back, bend your knees, straighten them up, and fold forward. Now, right here, come up just halfway. Start to go side to side again, side to side again, side. Last four here, you have four, and three, and two, and one. Center it up, bend your knees, bend your knees. Put your right hand on your right knee, left hand on your left knee, press them open. And then roll yourself up. Roll yourself up. Good. Okay. 
right foot stays on the floor. You're gonna take your left knee up, grab it, halfway down and down. So up, grab it, halfway up and down. Half, grab. Now when you do that grab, look, try not to do this. Up, okay, try to stay up. So if you can't bring it up as high as me, that's okay. Up, just go up a little higher. If you can get it to your chest, then get it to your chest. Up, lift, up, again. Up, lift, up, one more. Up, lift, up. Now put it down, switch legs. Here we go, where are you going? <laughs> and lift, okay, so right here we have, okay, we have balance, a little core work. Now I know some of you guys are like, what, Chris, I could do this all day, okay? Maybe the other uh, 80 people on here can't. Okay, so <laughs> keep going, right? So you have to kind of work. And maybe this isn't that hard for you. So maybe you do something that's a little more, maybe you don't put your foot down, right? So work more balance. Up, higher, good, good. One more. And up, up, and down. Nice. Now take it out. I want the hips, hi Diane, to come forward in circles here, forward in circles. Good. Circle. Good morning, Diane. I gotta call you later. I gotta tell you about the great, the great cabinet problem. <laughs> Good. And up. One more. Take it other direction. So make sure you're actually circling the hips when you're not doing this. Okay, because this is circling your torso, right? Hips. Okay, look. You're going forward. You're actually moving the hips around, right? Keep going. Keep going. Yes. So Marianne just asked, is it normal to be off balance on one side? Usually one side has better balance than the other side for almost everyone. Okay. Okay. Good. Keep going. Okay. Nice. Now, arms up. Palms face each other. Turn your toes out. Whoo. All right. You ready? You're going to go down. Reach for your ankle. Come up. Other side and down. Okay, now this is going to get a little nuts here. Okay, you're like, really? What? What do you mean? Down and up. Good. And down and up. Okay, so now come down to one side. Come down to one side. Listen, bring your hands to the floor. Okay, hands to the floor. From there, walk out so that left knee comes to the floor. Right leg is out. Cross your right leg over. Look at it over your left shoulder. Come back, bring your foot back down, walk back into that low lunge. Oh gosh, ready? Other side, over, hands down. Walk forward to that knee is on the floor. Cross over, look over your right shoulder at that foot touching the floor. Bring it way back out to the side. Walk it back and then come up and go to the other side again, ready? So you might have to reset, down. Walk forward, okay, bring it over, look over the shoulder, bring it back, it's slightly behind you, okay, walk back, and that way you're back in that lunge position, do it again, up, <laughs> Vanessa, Vanessa, hula hoop skills, why do I feel like you probably have good hula hoop skills, Vanessa, and over, so it's not too far forward. Walk it, bring it back a little bit. Walk. So when you come back, you're back in this lunge position. Good, again. Down. Bring that knee down. Cross it over. Move over. And back. Okay, ready? Walk it back. You have one more for real, Vanessa. Over. Walk down to the knee. Back over. Cross, look. Bring it back. Bring it back, walk it back, walk it back, and then come back to the center. Open the knees again and rock the hips side to side. Yeah? Yeah? A lot of side lunging today. Okay, come all the way up. Bring your feet about hip width apart. We're going to hit a yogi squat just to see where you are. Okay? So come down. Come down. Knees. If you can't get your ankles on the, or your heels on the floor, fine. It's a little bit of, that's ankle mobility and some hip mobility. Okay? If you're like this, okay, 
or if you're here, that's okay. We're working on your depth right now. So it's okay, okay? Kind of rock it side to side. And if you can't, like if you can't get this low, realize where you are right now. And then we're, we're done at the end of this. Let's see where we are. Okay, Megan, yay. Okay, so when we're done, we're gonna, we're gonna test this yogi squat again. All right, so fold forward. <laughs> fold forward like that. Okay, good, hold right there. Bend your knees, roll yourself up. Just for Janet, we're doing that again. No, I'm totally kidding. Okay, <laughs> so, so watch this. Side lunge, okay. Lift your knee, cross it over and stretch. Side lunge. Push up, lift your knee. Balance. Cross it over. And stretch. Okay. Let me tell you some talk about something too. So we all right. There's a difference between mobility and flexibility. So I'm saying that because I'll, I'll tell you one second. Ready? Come up with the knee. Balance. Cross over and over. <laughs> Just for, I'm, I'm kidding. Janet likes to like likes me to pick on her. I think, <laughs> I think so because she keeps coming back. Good up, <laughs> and probably the hips do lie. <laughs> Good up. Shake out the arms. We're gonna do the other side. We got four of those. Ready? So lunge it over. <sighs> Lift your knee. Whoop. See my balance on this side. Mar um, was it Marianne that asked that? Cross over. So. When I'm swaying, my heels come off a little bit. So let me check that though, okay, CJ? She said, is that your ankle flexibility? So let me explain that too. Come back over to your side lunge. The ankle wouldn't be flexibility, it would be mobility because the ankle's a joint, okay? So when we're working the mobility right here, so right here, yeah, we're stretching some lats, but these big movements, take it over again, Okay, hip mobility. All right, they go hand in hand. Up, cross it. I don't know if that was three, but let's just do one more. Okay, one more. Good. <laughs> I'm Janet. Good. Up knee. Janet getting sassy. Up and up and cross. That's it on this one. Good. Awesome. Okay, so take it up, shake it. Wide. Big breath in. Bring your hands down to the floor. All right, let's hang here for a sec. Hang here for a sec. And I want you to just kind of like rock your weight back and forth onto your toes and then onto your heels, okay? So flexibility is how the how long the muscles stretch, the, the flexibility of the muscle tissue, okay? And the mobility is the mobility of the joint and how, um, the range of motion is in it, okay? So if we can move the joint through the full range of motion. And just from daily things, sometimes from our workouts, we just kind of get, you know, into a pattern with our body. And sometimes, you know, we just don't move in certain ways that the joints are made to move. Okay, so right here, turn your toes out just a tiny bit more. I want you to put your right hand on the floor, right under your face, and then take your left arm and reach up. And then exhale and bring it down and switch. So here's your breathing here. Inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, bring it down and switch. Go ahead, back down. So mindfulness here, inhaling and opening, exhaling. And you don't have to be with my, you know, your breath might be longer or shorter than mine. Okay, good, keep going, keep going. Uh, good, keep going. Uh, with Jenna, it's, a, it's a stick, it's a wand, not a stick, Jenna, yes. <laughs> good, oh. oh my God, good. Oh yeah, good. Now as you do this, you might feel like, oh wow, I just like, you know, you might feel some cracking, shouldn't feel like any pain, but I'll tell you what, I'm feeling looser in the spine just from these doing these rotations you're almost there you're almost there oh good now from there let's walk over and i want you to bring your right leg back come to a down dog just for a second and pedal those feet pedal 
okay? Now, for you guys, you might feel that you're stretching out your calves, work on getting those heels to the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Let's come to hands and knees. Okay, let's start some cat cows here. So inhale, arch. Exhale, round, pull that belly button to the spine, chin to chest. Good, and again, inhaling. And good. It did help you, Janet, that's wonderful. Good, now I will tell you something about that. Um, I started drinking, good, keep going, those electrolyte packets, and I was drinking like one or two a day, which I think was too much. My, my um, I stopped doing them when I, um, started with Dr. Courtney doing the supplements with her, um, and that seemed to help. But just watch, especially watch some of them with, they have a lot of sodium in them, okay? But, but, you know, if you're doing it like, I, I, I don't know, you know, you would probably have to just, when you go to, next time you go to your doctor, just ask like, hey, how many times a day should I be drinking this? Because everybody's a little bit different. Okay, good. One more. Chin to chest. Hold it round. Hold it round. Oh, good. Okay. Now take some circles with the hips going back and around. Going back and around here. And other direction. So, next one, I want you to take your elbows to the floor and bring your right, sorry, your left elbow behind your back so that your palm is facing the ceiling, okay? From there, your left shoulder is going to open, look up, and then back down. Okay, so you want this to be slow. You're going up, inhale, and exhale. Wonderful, Janet. Good, good, good. Those have a lot of sugar. And up. Yeah, I was using the Go Hydrate. That was the one that I liked the most. Um, I also liked one called Kinder Light, but I don't know if it was just because Jessica Beale sold me on that. <laughs> Good. And up. So you're opening up that elbow here. Oh, good. And nice down. Good. Take it down. Left elbow on the floor. Right hand behind your back. And from there, palm is up. Open it up. Inhale. Exhale. I love this. Good. Inhale. Open. Exhale. So you are lifting that elbow up off you a little bit. Keep the hand on the back. Just do your best. Again. Up. So you're getting magnesium in there. I'm assuming, Janet, right? You're getting magnesium. Oh, good. Okay, we're going to head into a few more twists here. So back to hands and knees. Take yourself into a plank. Okay, you're going to lunge your left foot forward. Left arm opens, reaches back. Comes back all the way around down to the floor. And left foot goes back and right foot forward. Switch. Twist it open. Right arm goes back. Brings all the way back over to the floor. Come back to plank and switch. Good. Oh, open. Straight up first. Good, Natalie. Good. Reach. Back over. Bring it back down to the floor. Good. Step back. Make sure when you bring that foot forward, okay, that you're really stepping it next to that hand. Open up, okay, and as best you can, getting that foot to the floor. Reach back, Teresa. Reach it up and over, CJ. Good. Okay, and let's come back. Give me an upward dog here. So right here, upward dog. Pull your shoulders back, chest forward, 
and then a little bit of a rock side to side. I forget who it was yesterday. I think it was Lynn told me her hip flexors were a little wonky. Good. I'll keep going. Nice, come back to a child's pose. I don't think it's gonna be this easy. <laughs> Good, right, yeah, okay. From there, come hands to knees, curl up, and let's go to a down dog. Stay there, there goes my mic. And from down dog, let's start walking your feet towards your hands and wider than your hands, a little wider than your hands, and drop down to your yogi squat again and see where you are now. Okay, okay good, good. Janet, so here's a little something about magnesium too. Um, magnesium is actually absorbed better through your skin than it is through the mouth because it, um, I'm gonna rock this side to side to see what's going on here. So CJ, I'm, just, I'm gonna get back to that. Um, CJ, it could be, yes, it could be some mobility in the ankle. It probably is if you're having trouble keeping them down. Magnesium can cause like some stomach stuff, especially if it's taken in big doses. So I actually use magnesium oil. They said that that's great uh, to put it on your feet or your ankles or your calves before you go to bed. Um, it's a little, uh, what's the word for it? I don't want to say slimy, a sticky, but it really does work. Does this way yogi squat feel a little better than last time? You're like, no, <laughs> maybe, I don't know. <laughs> okay, all right, I got a couple more for you, okay? Hold. Yay, Paul! Yeah. Good. Fold and hold. Come down to yogi squat again. Good. I do, Teresa. Teresa, anybody pull weeds in this pose? Yes, I do. Straighten your legs up and hold. Okay, last one right here. Walk back to your plank. Walk back to your plank. Okay, drop your knees. Okay, and come back to a child's again. Hold right there. Hold your child's pose. Okay, in your child's pose, I want you to take your left arm, and if you want to look up and watch first, that's fine, okay? Take your left arm and just glide it down your side so it's kind of reaching back behind you and then lift your arm up and then put it back down and, and glide it back on the floor to meet the other one again. Might feel a little longer than the other one now. Okay, so right arm reaches back, lifts up off the floor, goes back down and then reaches forward again. Your arm should feel longer. I know that sounds totally strange. So now reach your left arm down behind you, lift it up, put it back down on the floor, and reach it back to the front. Good. Slide your arm, circle it, lift it up, put it back down, you're gonna glide it back to the floor again. We'll do one more on each side. Really open that chest up. Good. Here. Lift up. Put it down. Glide it back on the floor. Is anyone else but me noticing that when you bring your arm back up to where it started, that your arm feels longer? Take your arm down and back. Lift it up. Right arm. Bring it back down. Bring it back. Excellent. Hold right there. Stay right there, stay here and just relax. Everyone take a deep breath in through your nose. And out through your mouth. Good, bring yourself back up. Hi Anna Banana, come here, come here. Come back up to your back, come back to your back, Anna. She went over to the couch. She wants to hang out with Jason. Roll to your back. <laughs> Good. And let's take knees around in a circle. Good. Um, Janet, there's some on my Amazon. I added it like a couple years ago. Actually, when we first started this, um, there's one that I use on my Amazon. It's a spray. 
it's a spray that you can just like spray on your feet or rub it into your calves if that's where you get your um, where you get your cramps. I, let me give you the warning though because I told this to you guys probably, gosh, it was probably in like June of 2020. I was talking about this before. I circled them the other way. <laughs> and JoJo, UK JoJo, sends me a text message and says, or, or a direct message, and she's like, just so you know, I put the magnesium oil on and I didn't realize how slippery it would be and I got up to use the bathroom and I almost killed myself. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so <laughs> be careful. <laughs> be careful if there's that, okay? Maybe don't put it on your bottoms of your feet. Maybe put it on the tops of your feet or your, <laughs> your uh, calves. Good, hold right here. Nice. Okay, so what I want you to do is take your arms out and your legs out like a big star. Big breath in, and then just let your body kind of hang out there. Hold it, relax it down into your floor. Hold there. Inhale. Exhale. Okay, now inhale. Bring arms and legs together. Arms overhead, legs together. And then we're doing snow angels. So if you end up with dirt, a little dust on your body, <laughs> Good floor cleaning for you. Okay, so actually make snow angels, which I'm, you're like, what? For real, for real. Okay, we're making snow angels. It's not time yet, nor do I want to be doing that, but we, <laughs> maybe we should do that this year. We're gonna have a snow angel mobility challenge. Good. So it's on, I don't know the actual brand of it, but guys, there, that, there is a link to my Amazon below and there, it's under, um, it's under supplements. I think it's under snacks and supplements. So check, check there. Good. And bring your left knee into your chest. Hold it. Okay, a little back reset there. Just hold right there. Good. Good. Flex your right foot. Stay there. It smelled yucky. The one that I... Oh, that's good. That's good. As long as it doesn't bother your stomach. If you could take a magnesium supplement through your mouth and it doesn't bother your stomach, then that's fine. But like just if you are starting to take it, if you, are, if you do start to take it, I'm not recommending because I, I that's not my like real house to do that. I'm just a trainer. I know body. I don't, I'm, you know, but like I, you know, for me, I take the magnesium, I like the magnesium oil. Magnesium supplements do, they can bother your stomach. All right, so if you if you start if you did start taking one and it did start to bother your stomach, change to the oil. And the one that I had didn't smell at all. Swiffer Angel. <laughs> yeah, good. Good hold. I know. Did anybody else notice that this morning? We had on like the CBS morning show today, you know? And like immediately Christmas. <laughs> it's like we did, we're not even done like, <laughs> there's still pumpkins over here. Immediately Christmas commercials. <laughs> Although I'd rather see Christmas commercials than the other commercials right now. Good. Okay. Last one. Bring your legs down. Let your knees fall open. Shake your legs. Shake them like this. Shake it. Shake it like a salt shaker. Right there. Good. Woo. Okay. Now bring your heels together. And I want you to kind of flop your feet together. But not just your feet, your entire leg. Out, in, out, in, out, in, out, in. Good. <laughs> I know. Good. Good. Eight, seven. Actually, put your hands on your hip bones, your pelvic bones, and notice that they're moving with this. Okay? Four, three, two, and let them fall open. Bring your hands to your belly. Good. Stay right there. Inhale through your nose. Exhale and close your eyes. Good. Stay right there. Stay right there. Beautiful. Just relax. <laughs> There's no place like there's no place like home. Yeah, no place like working out like working out at home. <sighs> Feel the rise and fall of your belly as you relax here. 
Notice the air as you inhale, going in through your nostrils. Notice that the temperature as you inhale of the air is a little cooler than as you exhale. Softening the eyes. Allowing the eyes to just fall back into the head. And if you feel like you're forcing your eyelids to close, then just keep them slightly open. Breathe. Staying calm. Breathing. Good. Excellent. Stay right there. And if you would like to take this just a little longer and take the time to just kind of chill out and relax, please do so. And if not, start to wiggle out your toes. Good. And then start to wiggle your fingers on your belly right there. And just feel that. Be mindful. Start to bring your knees one at a time into your chest. Good. And let's take your knees over to one side. Come into a fetal position. And let's sit yourself up. Okay? You can cross your ankles if you want. Okay? Or you can sit, sit on a chair, whatever feels best for you. Just take a couple of neck rolls for me. Great job today, everybody. Oh. Excellent. Yes. Make sure you are staying hydrated, okay? Um. <laughs> Good. Toto's upstairs with golden hands. Good. <laughs> and other direction. Golden Hands is a whole new character in The Wizard of Oz that you guys never heard of. <laughs> he's, he's friends with the mayor of the Munchkin City. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm not that funny, but I, I crack myself up. I don't know if you guys noticed that. It's good to laugh at yourself, okay? Especially when you're doing stuff like this. Just If you're doing this and you're like, <laughs> oh, what's the point? Try and relax. Try and just enjoy the movement of your body, okay? You know, you have a funny thought, you just laugh at it. You do something silly or you mess up with something, just move on. This is what we do, right? It's life. So a big breath in, everybody. <laughs> Hands together. <laughs> Bring it down to your heart. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you for entertaining my ridiculousness. One more inhale. <laughs> Bring them together. Down to your heart. Thank you, Lynn, Della, Jade, Diane, other Diane, other Diane, Danielle. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you tomorrow for Lower Bali. That's right. Bye, everybody. <laughs> Grab your stuff.